Hello and welcome back to the Fit Finance Sessions Advent Calendar. And today we're going to have a look at something called an annuity. It's a bit of a tongue twister, the two ands in a row there. Um, I think it's something to do with a pension. Tom, fill me in. So an annuity is what um, provides an income from a, from a pension scheme. So like when we're talking about final salary or defined benefit schemes, an annuity is, is the same. It provides a guaranteed income for the rest of your life. Um, however, you can set the options with, a, with an annuity that, that you purchase yourself in the open market, or sometimes your pension scheme will have specific options around what, what annuities you can, you can purchase. Um, so it might allow you to have a tax-free lump sum. It might have uh, guaranteed uh, inflationary increases, or it might just be level for the rest of your life. And also the spouse's benefits or how many years, if you die within the first 10 years, um, you, you, you might not get all of the money if there's only a five-year guarantee. So it, there's a lot of options around them, but effectively it's a fixed income for the rest of your life and you use whatever's in your um, defined contribution pot to purchase those, um, uh, those benefits. Um, but over the years, annuity rates have, have, have got poorer. So um, yeah, the, there's lots of uh, pros and cons and sure. I'm sure the merchant of doom will uh, will explain the, the the poor annuity rates. Go on, Tim, take it away. What's yeah, bad well, about annuities? Well, the first the first and easiest one is it's irreversible. You know, so as soon as you hand over the pot, as Tom said, and buy that income, that's it. You, know, you can't ask for the money back and then go back. Uh, unfortunately, you've got that income whether you like it or not. Uh, and two, yeah, of course, annuity rates have been. Um, and continue to be well, a little bit better than they were, I suppose, um, but, but so poor in comparison to the kind of normal investment return that you'd expect from a, from a well diversified portfolio anyway, i.e. three, three and a half percent perhaps. Um, and of course, if, if, well, let's say for whatever reason, uh, whatever the rate was, just conceptually, if you're happy with that, bought your income, uh, you will then potentially, you know, later on down the line, if annuity rates get better, um, and you think, oh, you know, crumbs run, I hold out and, uh, and you know, see if I can, I should have got a better income or whatever. It's, as I say, it's irreversible and you, you just sort of um, make do essentially. So, um, I, whatever, whatever the rate is at that particular point in time that you're, that you're wanting to buy, uh, that's it. You know, that's, that's what you can, um, that you can choose, unfortunately. Um, now some older schemes, um, do have what's called a guaranteed annuity rate. So, uh, it's a name funny enough, uh, you know, and it's 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 a fixed uh, and, you know, rate of, of of income that the scheme would would hand over for you, um, regardless of what the current annuity rate is at the time. But actually, the criteria um, that one needs to fit to actually benefit from that guaranteed rate is actually quite poor. So most people, um, or doesn't tend to, to to fit most people's circumstances. Insofar as there's no spouse's benefits attached, so if you once you died effectively you've taken the you've got the guaranteed income uh you passed away your spouse then won't receive anything um, and more often than not it's a level uh, benefit so it's not protected uh, against inflation as time moves on so whilst on day one it may seem really attractive actually you know over the next couple of decades i'll be really going to be alive hopefully um then uh, then the buying power of that money is going to be eroded brilliant okay so they're good in the sense that they give you a nice guaranteed income but they're but you've got to be very careful because the guaranteed level of income is going to be expensive to buy. And also you don't know what's going to happen over the course of the next 20 years and whether or not you need a bigger income at some point or if it's going to be enough to provide for you. Fascinating as always, chaps. Thanks very much indeed. And until next time, bye-bye.